Today we're pulling the curtain back on AI automation agencies, or better known as AAA. Now, we've all seen the influencers buzzing about it. But what's the truth behind all this glitz and glamour? Is there a real gold mine, or is it just all smoke and mirrors? Stay with me till the end and I promise you'll have a greater understanding and a clear revision of this business model so that you can take actionable steps moving forward and see where the real opportunities lie. Now, to be honest, it seems like everyone's jumping on the AAA bandwagon. But amongst all the excitement, I've noticed a lot of confusion. Now, I totally get that because I was genuinely wanting those shoots. It was like I was in a maze without a map. I had no idea what I was doing, no idea where I was going, and didn't understand what the actual future holds for AAA businesses. Usually, when I dive into a new field, I lean on the wisdom and experiences of people that are well established within that area. Sometimes I'll work for free just to gain their knowledge, just to gain the years of experience in as short time as possible. This helps me shorten my learning curve and take years of experience in a shorter period of time, leveraging everything they know. This is something that Alex Formosi uses and it's very, very effective. But with AI automation agencies, I found myself stuck. The only person talking about it was Liam Otley. Now don't get me wrong, he's done an amazing job of breaking things down and making it simple for us to understand. However, he's also still piecing the puzzle together and he's only been in this for a couple of weeks, maybe even a few months at most. That being said, whenever I find myself stuck like this, I like to zoom out, break things down, and make things stupid simple. This usually helps me cut through all the noise and analyze the situation for what it is. And here's what I came up with. An AI automation agency uses no-code tools like Stack AI, WordPress to create a simple to use chatbot interface that you can interact with similar to the way you interact with ChatGPT. However, it's not your normal chatbot. These tools allow you to access what we call a custom knowledge base, which is a fancy word for your business's information or any type of personal information you want to put in there. All this information does is give the bot context so that with the information you can automate certain tasks like a customer onboarding, sales, and a bunch of other things, even predicting your future, even identifying certain issues and problems within your business. They take a while to do. If you give the chatbot information the knowledge base that he has, it'll be able to identify problems within your business if you learn how to use it properly. You can use these chatbots to automate tasks. On top of that, we also got other automation tools like Zapier, Go High Level, and a bunch of no-code tools to automate systems and processes like cold outreach and other mundane, boring tasks that businesses hate doing. Now, when I broke it down like that, suddenly it just clicked. AI automation agency is a fancy word for a business that simplifies certain tasks and processes for other businesses. After a little digging, I found a profession called Business Process Automation Specialist better known as BPA specialist. The average salary is between $100,000 to $150,000 per year. Yes, $100,000 to $150,000 per year. Now, here's the interesting thing. I want you to listen to the job description of a BPA specialist and what they do. A BPA specialist is someone who has expertise in identifying and implementing automation opportunities in business processes. Their roles include understanding a business's existing process, designing and creating an automated workflow, and implementing and maintaining the automation technology. I just described what an AI automation agency is. Is that not the exact same thing? Now, I'm not going to lie. When I came to this realization and it hit me, I was kind of upset because I love the idea of being on the cutting edge of technology and calling myself an AI automation expert or even an, just an AI expert. It made me feel cool. But then there's a silver lining here. Remember how I described I was very confused about how to navigate the whole AI space? There's no one I can learn from. With this new realization, I understood that, number one, this is a well-established industry. There's a lot of people I can learn from. There's a lot of mentors I can use to leverage their time and their experience, their many, many years of experience to shorten my learning curve. The second is when I want to grow this business, there's well-established employees that have extensive experience in the field that I don't have to personally train. They may have more experience than me that I could partner up with them or even hire them under me once I want to expand my team. So I don't have to train someone on a whole new concept. It's something that's already there. They've already got the skills that you're going to hire them. And third and most important for me was I had a lot of doubt whether there's actually a need for AI automation agencies because it's something new and it's just a shot in the dark. Now, with this newfound information, I realize there's a lot of demand for it. There's been demand for it for years and there will be demand for it for years to come. So this is a positive in every way, shape or form. Now that I've identified that AI automation agencies isn't something revolutionary, it's just a fancy term 
for a profession that's been around for a long time, I couldn't help but think, why is there so much hype around AI automation agencies now when this business model of automating business tasks has been around for a long time? Why are people all crazy over it now? Where's this hype coming from? And after doing even more research, I realized a secret lies within the fact that up until now, automation technology was only available to big businesses that had big budgets. As AI advances, this technology becomes more accessible to people like you and I, giving us the ability to provide this type of service to other businesses that don't have the skill of automating systems and processes like you and I have, or going to have, if you don't have those skills yet. It's very similar to how 10 years ago, only big businesses with big budgets were able to advertise to mainstream audiences on TV and radio. However, when social media came along, Facebook gave that power to the average person, gave that power to the small businesses, and that birthed a whole industry of SMMA, social media marketing agencies, helping teenagers make millions and millions of dollars. It's a little oversaturated now, but it's been around for over a decade. So before this, businesses relied on custom-made AI technology called Robotic Process Automations, also known as RPA, to create their systems and automate their workflows. To make these solutions, it costs up to hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars, sometimes even in the millions of dollars. So only big businesses were able to create these solutions. Now tools like BotPress, Stack AI, Go High Level, Zapier, and many other node code solutions give access to the average person to create automated workflows. Now don't get me wrong, very complex solutions, very complex processes and systems still need RPA technology and experts within that field. However, we can start small and then work our way up eventually. Now Charlie Munger said something that's very important that I think you and I can extract a lot of value from. He outlined that naturally as humans, we're better at identifying problems, risks, and ways things can go wrong better than we are at identifying opportunities. Now here's where the value comes. If we break this statement down and dissect what he means, we can increase our likelihood of success. Since humans are better at identifying problems and issues than we are opportunities, and we've previously identified that an AI automation agency is simply a fancy term for a business process automation specialist or a BPA specialist, we can identify all the issues, all the mistakes, all the things that could go wrong in a BPA specialist type of business and implement it within our AI automation agency. Before we weren't able to do that because we had no previous data. Now that we've identified it's the exact same business as a BPA specialist, we can do that using Charlie Munger's rule. And by doing this, we can avoid all the issues and all the mistakes we can make. Once we identify all these issues and mistakes, it dramatically increases the chance of making us successful. And that's exactly what I'm going to cover in my next video. All the issues, pitfalls and mistakes people have made trying to grow a BPA specialist type of business because we can apply those exact rules to our AI automation agency. So that means you have to subscribe to increase your livelihood of success. It's enough from me, over and out.